Hi YouTubers and gamers and I'm back and today it's going to be a collection video. Bit of a change I know. Um, I've recently finished collecting for PS3 and uh, picked up the last title I wanted and I'll show it in the next pickup video. But uh, we've over, well, probably, I've probably got about 900 PS3 games. Um, I didn't want to do a uh, PS3 collection video for people because I think it'll be a bit tedious for some. And uh, there's just too many games to go through and it would have taken about three or four videos at least. Uh, so I thought I'd focus just on the more interesting imports. So I thought I'd focus on my European ones, my uh, American ones and my Japanese uh, um, PS3 titles. Um, so hopefully that'll be a bit more interesting for people really. So with no further delay, let's get started. Right, let's start with European... Uh, um, standalone ones because I've got a few little mini box sets as well so um, I got the I think it's a German edition of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 on the PS3 um, obviously that's easier to get on the PS4 in Britain but on the PS3 I think we had to get a European copy uh, one of the several topware exclusive titles that we've got in Europe and that is Battle vs Chess so it's like a three-dimensional battle, um, a chess game with uh, interesting backgrounds and uh, sort of moving fantasy-based characters, really. I've not ever played it, though. don't ever will, to be honest. I, mean, I don't mind chess, but it's just uh, not a priority, really. Uh, another interesting title, I think this was a... I mean, it's got English on the back, but... Uh, Probably released in Spain more than anything else, I imagine, but it is English on the back too. And that is Bloodbath. So that's some kind of. Um, it's not um, a um, you know Street Fighter clone or anything like that. It's more like um, a God of War type clone, I suppose. But anyway, we also have, um, based on the movie, uh, Kick Ass 2. Um, again, it's got English on the back as well as the other European languages. I think I got picked that up from Spain, I reckon. Uh, a Big Ben title, uh, Truck Racer. And uh, Ferrari Racing Legends. Um, it's all English in the back too as well. I think this is like an Australian copy. Um, not quite an uncommon game. Um, you can't, I think it's easier to I mean, you can also get it on the Xbox 360, but I don't think it's common even on the 360 either. And one big box game, a box set version of Iron Sky. Uh, again, it's a topware game. Those um, are interesting to put in here. Shall I put the object is open, I think. Well, look. Let's see, we get the game, sealed, art books. Uh, map and a bonus disc, so it's probably um, yeah, different. There's Nine Sky 2, which is on my want list, which I've not got yet, but that's not on the PS3, obviously, that's the PS4 game. Uh, I'll just leave that there for now. Alright, let's turn to a Japanese game, so this will be, be quite interesting to a lot of people, I reckon. Um, Right, I got the. I say Japanese. Some of these may be uh, Hong Kong release, releases or Korean releases as well. So I got the remake of Resident Evil on a PS3. Um, it's all English on the back as well, and uh, it plays in both English and Japanese voice and subtitles. Um, some of these titles may think, also special about that, you know, you can get on PS4. Well, obviously, when these came out, you couldn't get them on PS4. Um, uh, some were remakes of a GameCube game, some were just ports of a GameCube game, so it's good to have all the same. Um, I've got the Japanese edition of Africa. Um, again, quite an uncommon game. You can get an English version. Well, I say English, it's probably a European version of this, but it's, it's super expensive and I'm not paying silly prices for it. Uh, uh, one Shibara Z Kagugu. No, no, no! So obviously it's a um, bikini clad um, girl was attacking the samurais, so 
a lot to enjoy on that one, I would say. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons collection. So this has got the, the Saturn games on them, uh, arcade games. So um, yeah, um, it, it does play in Japanese, but you can you can get on with it. I mean, to be honest, um, if it, you're not missing too much, there's not a huge storyline really to, in Dungeons and Dragons games. You're just going on beat everything up really. So you're not really missing out too much. Um, the last guy. Um, this is quite an interesting game. Um, I think, as the title suggests, I think you were in a post-apocalyptic world, and I think you were the last guy alive. And I'm not sure what else you've got to do about exploring Tokyo. I think uh, another interesting game, Rain. Um, you play like almost like a. a an invisible character, and you're only visible by obviously the shape you, you know, the outline around your body in the rain. So, um, obviously, there must be puzzle exploration elements in that game. I played it, I must confess, but it's an interesting tile, exclusive to Japan. Another interesting tile um, is Tokyo Jungle. Again, this is like another post apocalyptic game based in uh, Tokyo, whereby you play an animal and you've got to survive and I guess you you can you know you can start off as a little poodle or dog and you take on larger animals including tigers and lions that escape from, from the zoo and bears and so I guess you can you you upgrade by turning to a more powerful animal at some point I suppose you have to change animals I guess uh, okay a fighting game fighting climax X um, this is a, I know this is either a prequel or a sequel to a, a game that we got on a, in Europe. Um, is that a fighting climax series or something? I know it's, a, it's definitely part of a series that one is. Okay, oh, of course, you've got to have the old, some of your shooters. So, Ketsuri Kazuna Jikuko Tachi Extra. Uh, got you have your, you know, your cave games. And most of the cave games, obviously, were on the, uh, the Xbox 360. But we did get a few on the, you know, in Europe on the PS3 as well, like Death Smiles and uh, uh, Ikai Katana and uh, Under Defeat. We got a few interesting games, but not all the shooters. Uh, one of the Gal Gun games this is the original first Gal Gun. Okay, That's those ones. Okay. I'm getting those Japanese titles mixed up with my European ones. I don't want to do that. Let me get those out. That's it. Put that there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm just trying to keep this game room in some sort of reasonable, tidy order. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, next. Uh, Caladius Blaze, another shooter. Um, I think I've got this on PS4 Switch. I know it's definitely released. We, we released on that as well. Um, there's quite a few interesting Resident Evil games from Japan, and this is um, one of them. The Biohazard Chronicles HD um, this selection. Basically, it's the the games that were on the Wii. But also on the PS3, so that's, that's, that's good. That's one of uh, Shining Force games, Shining Resonance. Uh, uh, we got Vampire Resurrection, one of the Dark Stalkers games on the PS3. Wonderful. Uh, with Bizarre HD collection. Um, I think we did get one Bizarre game in Europe. Um, I think it's like a Dynasty Warriors clone based on the anime. Um, then we've got Gladiators vs. Um, again, I'm not too sure if that's any good or not. Uh, and then we've got EX Troopers, a Capcom game. It's quite an interesting one, that. I must confess, a lot of these Japanese games I've not got around to playing yet because simply, I mean, I do have a Japanese. Well, I've got a modded PS3 anyway, so I can play them anyway, so that's not a problem. 
um, and uh, I do want to get a nice white fat P uh, Japanese PS3 at some point to go in the collection because I haven't got a white fat PS3. Uh, but uh, but I, you know I do have ways of playing it anyway. These games. Okay, so we got um, Strider Hyrule get, uh, collection. So we got the PS3 Strider game, and also we got the Okami HD game. Now again, obviously, you can probably get this easier on the PS4 in, in, in the West, but it was on the Japanese PS3. Okay. Not sure that's all the ones. I think it is. Yeah, that's all the, that's all the Japanese imports. Well, the thin one, the ones that weren't in, in a little box. So I've got more in the box here. So we got Resident Evil 5 little box set. And what's so special about that one you may say? Well it comes with a game which is unfortunately just uh, the best version. But it comes with a CD um, CD that says making a Resident Evil 5 so it's like a bonus DVD. Um, I think we get something in there as well. But you get a memory stick, and what's so cool about this memory stick? It's a little chainsaw memory stick. So quite an, quite an unusual box set for Resident Evil Five. Also, uh, we also got another box set here. This is a Biohazard Revival s selection. So you got, um, and you got Biohazard Resident Evil Four on here. What else we got? Uh, yeah, code name for Veronica and Biohazard and uh, Resident Evil 4. So again, nice to have those on the PS. I mean PS3. And this version, you can, you know, they do play in English too. Well, at least we English subtitles. Okay. Turn to uh, USA exclusives. Um, Rock of the Dead. Um, yeah, this is obviously a, a music get a rhythm game. I I don't think this is compatible with uh, the guitar controller, so you use it the same controller as this. So yeah, but obviously it's got a zombie theme and it's got some rock tunes. So unusual. Well. It's unusual for us guys in Europe, but for you in America, you've probably seen these. Oh yeah, that's, that's cheap. Well, these are some of the games that we didn't get. Um, Tales from the Borderlands um, on the PS3. We did not get this in Europe. Not in a physical format, not on the PS3 anyway. Uh, I've got a nice collector set. Well, obviously we did get this in Europe, but it's a collector set of The Walking Dead. And it's a Best Buy exclusive, which includes a limited edition poster. So it's got the entire Walking Dead game, but also it's got a poster. Um, a fiscal edition. This did get a European release in the end, but I wanted it as well. Um, so I picked it up, up from the States originally, and then it, we did get a copy in Europe. But this is obviously DuckTales. This is cool. As you know, DuckTales originally, it was released just as a digital code, and there was like a little button. And... Uh, I didn't really want to spend a lot of money for a digital code version, so I didn't bother picking that game up. Waiting until they bought physical release, and they did. Okay, we've got the best of a PlayStation Network Volume 1. I do believe there wasn't a Volume 2. <laughs> so, on here, we've got some PSP mini games. So, we've got Women Vikings Attack, Tokyo Jungle. So, we've got, uh, we've got a port of Tokyo Jungle, which obviously I, I showed before. Fat Princess and Sound Shapes. Um, okay, we got a, a sort of um, a Wild Hunt shooting ripoff type game. It must have been a TV series called Duck Dynasty, but these um, duck hunters. So, yeah, we did not get this in Europe. I wonder why. I don't know if it was any good or not. I'm not making a judgment on it. Uh, History Channel Civil War Remastered. Um, so, uh, Secret Mi Civil War Secret Missions. And 
so yeah, sort of historical game. I'm not sure if it's any good or not, but it's one that we did get, so I thought it was interesting. Uh, another music rhythm game, Power Gig, Rise of the Six String. Uh, I'm not sure if this came with a guitar or not. Um, it's got Eric Clapton and Korn and No Doubt, Smashing Pumpkins. There's some of the bigger names on here. There's quite a few more on that. Black Sabbath. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it was any good or not, but we didn't get that. Uh, Deadliest Catch, Sea of Chaos. Um, yeah, it follows these um, fishermen who go for the tiger, uh, giant cl crabs, what are they called? Spider crabs? Uh, I do believe that's like one of the dangerous professions in the world, isn't it, really? A lot of people die doing that job. Um, we've got a few sports titles. I think, obviously, there's t let's play tons of sports titles. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the sports ones, but I'll quick go for them. NLB 08, the show. Major League Baseball 2K12. NLB 13. Uh, 2K All Spots Football 2K8. Uh, so and I think that's all the sports ones, yeah. Okay. We got uh, another game which we did get in Europe. Uh, it's called Magus. Magus has been imprisoned and tortured with no end in sight. One day, a mysterious woman named Kina appears and helps him break free. She convinces him to embark on a perilous journey to fulfil his destiny, using his unique powers to defeat all who stand in his path. But with two powerful kingdoms vying to control the land and their eyes set on Magus's powers, how will he overcome the odds to become the god he wants to be? Um, so I think it's like a... It's not, it's not set in Earth, it's, you know, it's obviously a, another world. Sort of fantasy based. Again, we did not get that. Okay, there's a few rock band expansion packs uh, for the PS3 that we did not get. Uh, so we got the, the country track pack, and obviously, um, got some Kenny Rogers on there, and I don't mind some, you know, country music. And then there's a country track pack too. Uh, yeah, we've got Johnny Cash on there, which is the main one that I would want, because I love Johnny Cash. Uh, and then we've got uh, rock, uh, rock Band Track Pack Classic Rock. As you remember, the PS, on the PS3, um, you was able to download a lot of games, but this is one way of getting them on a the physical format. And I don't know if those servers are open anymore, so you probably can't download any new tracks nowadays. Um, yeah, so it's always good to get some of these... Um, Fiscal, um, you know, get these games in the fiscal format. Um, what band? Me uh, metal track pack. Obviously, it's all metal bands. Rage Against the Machine, that sort of thing. Hawkwind. Ooh, Judas Priest. Uh, old school music there. Okay. And let's turn to a few import box sets from the States. We've got a Fan Fair 425. Um, this comes with a steel book and maps and everything. Classic game. We've got a Dead Space 2 Collector's Edition. You may think, well, what's so special about this? Well, you get um, uh, you get the uh, game plus DLC. You get a replica of a plasma cutter. That's cool. A nice little ornament. Uh, all soundtrack and some more downloadable crap. So um, yeah, so you get a replica of a uh, plasma cutter. So that's cool. And last but not least, uh, an American copy of Resident Evil Five. And what's so cool about this? You get a steel book. You get a tri-cell carrier bag. Oh, not carrier bag. You know what I mean? That a hold all messenger bag. 
a mini Chris Redfield figurine, Ooh. Uh, a key juju necklace, uh, a um, BSSAA patch, and obviously you get the game manual and bits and bobs. So yeah, so a shorter video than normal, but I just thought I'd just show you some of the uh, more interesting uh, uh, titles I got from the, which were imports and so forth. Uh, on the PS3, I've got uh, tons of games, more than anything else, really, uh, in Europe. And so, a lot of RPGs, a lot of unusual, uncommon games, too. But, uh, to be perfectly honest, um, it's just too big a job to go through them and sort them out and, um, and do those sort of videos. And I don't think it's worth the effort, because I don't think that many people are, are that interested. Probably, I mean, there'll be a handful of you, I know, guys. But it's just... Um, not high up on my priority list, I'm afraid, but but hopefully you know that will you know that, that, that will you know will educate some people who are interested in collecting for PS3 anyway. All right, guys, take care, keep safe. Until next time, bye.